before we go and I'll start my presentation, let me again just quickly walk you through about Amplus. So Amplus is a uh, I squared backed solar power, uh, distributed solar power developer. Uh, this are, uh, uh, we are backed by a PV, PV, P private equity firm known as I squared capital. It's a US based and an $8 billion PE group. And they have, uh, we are, we have a around one million, uh, one fifty million dollar commitment from them side, their side. So financially, we are a very stable company, and uh, in terms of projects, we have created a, we have already executed uh, around sixty eight megawatt of a rooftop projects and uh, thirty four megawatt of a solar park in Karnataka. In parallel, and at the same time, we are also executing one seventy megawatt of a solar park, another solar park in Karnataka, and uh, created a pipeline of one hundred and fifty megawatt of a solar. Uh, but different type of solar projects in India. Other than India, we are also focusing on Southeast Asia and Dubai. We are just about to start our first project in Dubai very soon. And we are a Gurgaon based company. Uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, almost 200 plus professionals working in the company. I look, I look after policy and regulatory affairs. So uh, I'll just start with the uh, the uh, I'll just directly want to hit on the issues and challenges we have been hearing about this that the potential is enormous and government of India state government has been putting a lot of thrust on the development of the solar projects especially the rooftop we have set a target of 40 gigawatt by 2022 so there are already drivers for the growth we have seen there is a there is there is no brainer for the commercial and industrial consumer about solar rooftop uh, they, they are driven by their uh, high electricity tariff rates and uh, the empty rooftop available with them. And they really want to uh, 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 reduce the cost of their end product. And for all these industries, electricity is a raw material. So they are always focusing on energy efficiency and bringing, bringing down their uh, end product cost. So as of now, we see that uh, when though there is a lot of uh, push from the government side, uh, but so far we have achieved almost a gigawatt of installation, uh, which is dominated by industrial commercial and commercial consumer. And if you look at the uh, proposed target, which is 40 gigawatts, so we, by in next five years, that we need to do almost a eight gigawatt every year, which it, the itself seems to be a very very uh, uh, uphill task. At in terms of, but our country is very, very equipped with all the drivers. So like I said in this, our slide, that there is no brainer for CNI consumer. At the same time, all sort of a renewable energy, including solar and wind, they have already uh, reached to the grid parity long time. And if we see the tariff trend across India, North India, West, Southern and Indust Eastern India, so we can see an upward trend in the retail electricity prices, be it agriculture, be it uh, commercial, industrial, or the residential. So there is always uh, there is already a case for rooftop across the segment. But why we are not moving as quickly as we have envisaged, and uh, what are the barriers for it? So there has there are some barriers which are hindering the growth. So just. Uh, uh, we'll talk about those barriers in the upcoming slides. At the same time, what we see, there are business models available for all sort of our investor and the consumers. There are cell phones, uh, so people like uh, Amplus, CleanMax, there are, which are working on the developer model. There are uh, companies like um, uh, Harsha Abacus, they are also working on the CapEx mode, providing installation to the consumer rooftop. Every model have their merits and demerits. But what we see, in spite of all the uh, factors, all the drivers, there is some hindrance in the growth. So what we see, the, uh, we can uh, bucket in the challenges into four categories. One is the policy and regulatory challenges. Second is the credit risk, procedural delay, and uh, there is a, some sort of a, uh, absence of incentives from the distribution company. So in terms of policy and regulatory, uh, challenges. What we see there is a in, huge inconsistency across the India, once from state to state. Like for an instance, if we go to the North India, be it Delhi or Uttar Pradesh, there is a, a provision for third party sale, which is like a developer model that has been allowed for all the consumers. But we can, we, when we come to the Gujarat, so there is a restriction on this particular model. So because of 
the restriction consumer himself has to invest on the solar power project and cuff out a huge sum of money for the for the amount of uh, kilowatt or megawatt he intends to install on his project then there is a capacity cap on the solar projects even though there are, there are rooftops available with the consumer but they can't go above 1 megawatt then uh, there is a asymmetry in the government policies and the regulations so at some places what we have seen government is focusing a large scale deployment on the rooftop projects like punjab so the government has already allowed 10 megawatt of solar projects to participate in the net metering project but there are no regulations for it similarly in haryana there are certain incentive made available under the state solar policy but same has not been implemented in by the regulator so there has been a asymmetry between the policy and the regulate regulation so that is one part of the uh, part of the uh, the uh, the barriers second is the credit risk so like i said earlier uh, the market the rooftop market is primarily be driven by the the uh, cni consumer but there is a huge scope available in uh, and cni consumer which are highly rated consumer but there is a huge scope the huge potential available with the consumer which are not highly rated which are a low rated consumer but they can still uh, contribute in the development of the sector so there has there are there are certain uh, ways there are certain solution to uh, come out of these risk and challenges the drivers so i'll be very quick in just uh, giving a brief of the drivers because of the time constraint i already got a, a one minute left notice so but if the if the if the audience allows i would like to continue with my a uh, 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 bit more of a uh, present uh, the uh, issues so anyway uh, we can also you can also uh, you know uh, uh, any uh, any questions if you have you can ask in, in the panel discussion but let me just brief very very brief about the uh, other challenges and the issues so there are procedural delays there are absence of incentive to the discoms and similarly there are since i mean we have identified the barriers at the same time we have also identified the solutions to it so solutions can be there the process, the policy and procedural delay has to be removed there has to be standardization of the process regulation there has to be incentive made available to the distribution company uh, home so that they don't fear they don't feel that we are taking away their consumers and we are taking away, away for their uh, revenues and there has to be uh, adoption of new uh, business models so couple of business model could be the developer model can be coupled with the with the uh, uh, with the distribute with the distribution licensee this will also minimize the payment risk second could be the bank the international uh, the the lenders can also play a, a very vital role in enhancing the credit uh, credibility of the consumer and allowing them to participate in the resco model so uh, there are always there will be a challenges but there will always be a solution so what we look at uh, uh, from the, as a, uh, one of the major industry stakeholder that we need to work together and we need to make certain changes in all sort of uh, uh, verticals of our industry so with this i would like to give a pause to my presentation thank you very much thank you so much for listening and your patience